Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about four functions available in the NumPy array. Those are max, min, argmax and argmin. So let's start. So as usual, let me import NumPy array as NumPy package as np. And I am creating two NumPy arrays here, arr1 and arr2. arr1 is of one dimension, arr2 is of two dimensional. Okay. So what does max method do? So if I say arr1.max and execute it, so you might have guessed it, the max function by the name itself tells us that it will find out the maximum value in the given array. So I am executing max function or max method on array 1 and so it is returning me the maximum value in that particular array which is 4. Okay, So this is how max works. What happens if I execute the same max method on ARR2, which is a two dimensional array, right? So it returns me a maximum value that is 8 present in the whole array, okay? Now max takes an argument which is called as access, right? So I have already spoken about access, what access is all about. So let us see how does that access affects the output. When I say ARR2.max, and access is equal to 0. By default, access is equal to none. So it considers all the elements to give us the maximum value. If I say access is equal to 0 and execute it, you see when I say access is equal to 0, we have to look down the array. Right? So out of 1 and 5, maximum value is 5. Out of 2 and 6, maximum is 6. Out of 3 and 7, 7 is the maximum value. Out of 4 and 8, 8 is the maximum value, right? So that's why we got 5, 6, 7, 8 as an answer when we give access is equal to 0. Now let us see what happens if I give access is equal to 1. You see it returned 4, 8 because when I say access is equal to 1, we have to look on the array in a horizontal way, right? So out of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is the maximum value. Out of 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 is the maximum value. That's why we saw 8. So the output is 4 from this row and 8 from this row. So we got 4, 8 as an output. Similarly, min will also act the same way. Only difference is instead of maximum value, it will return us the min value. So without any access argument, it will return us the minimum value from array 2, which is 1. Okay. Now if I just execute with access is equal to 0 and access is equal to 1, we will see what will be the output. When access is equal to 0, the minimum values will be returned by looking down the array. Right. So when access is equal to 0, between 1 and 5, minimum is 1. 2 and 6, 2 is the minimum. 3 and 7, 3 is the minimum. 4 and 8, 4 is the minimum. So that's why we got the output as 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now if I execute the same min function on array 2, but with access is equal to 1. So it will return me 1, comma 5. Right. So when I say access is equal to 1, we have to look in a horizontal direction. Correct. So out of 1, 2, 3, 4, minimum is 1. Out of 5, 6, 7, 8, minimum is 5. So 1 and 5 will be the output when I say access is equal to 1. You see here. So this is how min and max works. Now we'll see what is argmin and argmax. Let us say I'm executing argmax on ARR1. So it returns me 3. But what is the max returning on ARR1? It returns me 4. Why? Because the elements of ARR1 is 1, 2, 3, 4. The maximum element is 4, but argmax is returning 3. So, what this 3 represents? This 3 represents the positional index of the maximum element present in the array. Right? So, the maximum ele element of ARR1 is 4, and the positional index of this maximum element 4 is 0, 1, 2, 3. That's why we are seeing 3. Right? So, in the same way, if I execute arg min on this, arg min on this, it will return me 0. Because minimum value in arg arr1 is 1, which is at 0th positional index. That's why arg min is returning me 0. So, this is arg min and arg max. So, min and max will return the actual minimum and maximum values in a given array. Arg min and arg max will return the positional index of the minimum and maximum values in the given array. Okay. So, let's try to execute arg min and arg max on array 2 which is our two dimensional array. 
okay so if i say ar2 dot argmin it will give me zero why because minimum value of ARR2 is 1, which is at positional index 0. Right? While doing this, if we do not specify any access, all the elements will be treated as a single array. Okay? It will be treated as a one-dimensional array. So if you if you treat it as one-dimensional array, 1 is at 0th position, 2 is at first position, 3 is at second position, 4 is at third position. 5 is at 4th position. Likewise, 8 is at 7th position. Okay. Now, let us see ARR2 dot max will return me 8, but ARR2 dot arg max will return me 7. Right. Because 8 is at 7th positional index in this particular array. Now, what happens if I say ARR2 dot arg min and access is equal to 0. So, what happens? Access is equal to 0 means we have to look down the array. So, between 1 and 5, this is 0th element between 1 and 5. 0th element is the minimum value. That is why we are seeing 0. Okay. Between 2 and 6, again 0. Between 3 and 7, again 0th element that is 3. Between 4 and 8, again 0th element that is 4. Okay. So, that is why we are seeing 0, 0, 0. Now, the same thing if I execute arg max here. It will say 1, 1, 1, 1 because 0th position we have 1, first position we have 5. Right? Correct? So, 0th position we have 2, first position we have 6. That is why both the argument argmax output will be 1, 1, 1, 1. Between 3 and 7 also, the maximum value is at first index. Between 4 and 8 also, maximum value is at first index. That is why we saw output as 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? Now, we will see. ARR2 dot argmin of I will say access is equal to 1. If I say access is equal to 1, we have to look in a horizontal way. Right. So, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, minimum value is at 0th position in this particular row. And this horizontal direction, this particular row, minimum value is at again 0th index. Right. So, that is why we saw 0, 0. Now, what happens if I say ARR2 dot arg max of access is equal to 1. So, it will give me 3 comma 3. Why? Because we have to get the index of the maximum element at access is equal to 1. Okay. So, access is equal to 1. Again, we have to look horizontally. Index of the maximum element in this particular row is the element is 4, but the index is 3. Again, at this particular row, Element is 8, maximum element is 8, but the positional index is 3. That is why we have seen output as 3, 3. Okay. Hope this is clear. Uh, uh, that is all in this video. If you guys have any questions on this part, please let me know. I will try to answer in the comments. So, thank you. Uh, happy learning. Bye bye.